the students didn't start anything and they should be praised, not pounded. That's the conclusion of the Covington Diocese today. And in a written statement, Bishop Roger Foy said, in truth, taking everything into account, our students were placed in a situation that was at once bizarre and even threatening. Their reaction to the situation was, given the circumstances, expected and one might even say laudatory. Bishop Roger Foy says Covcath students did not instigate what happened. The independent firm hired to investigate it determined there was no evidence of offensive or racist statements by the students, no evidence of them chanting build the wall. According to the report, none of the students felt threatened. Some stated they were confused. Linda Griffith grew up near the school. She has no students there, but has followed the situation closely since it first exploded on social media. Well, when it first happened, like I said, I thought, you know, the kid kind of had a smirk on his face. But then, like I say, after I read about it and I heard both sides, you know, I thought he got the shaft there, you know, because especially when I heard more about the other man. Investigators say they tried to interview Nathan Phillips, but were unsuccessful. Nick Sandman, the student, provided a previous written statement. As the school day unfolded, Bishop Boys expressed gratitude to students and parents for their patience. He offered nothing more about the pressure the diocese says it felt to issue an immediate initial statement which was critical of the behavior. The diocese stated today the students could have never expected what they experienced. The investigation found the MAGA hats were worn by just a few students, purchased there. And the diocese did not respond to questions about policy for wearing political clothing. Parents we spoke with off camera are relieved and just want all this to go away. Some still peeved about the very first statement by the diocese. Like I said, you weren't there. You, you know, people were just going by what they saw on social media. And a lot was made initially about those MAGA hats. The investigation found nothing to indicate a school policy that prohibits the wearing of political garb. Live in Park Hills, John London, WWT News 5.